with regards to paper eggs, yeah, I can't believe they didn't drop us. Man. I absolutely cannot believe they didn't drop us because we were so bad. They even made changes and we continued to lose. That was my worst year of my life. And I got booted, I became coach. And surely that is it, and it is! Dubai will be the one to drag them over the line! Paper X, our inaugural VCT Pacific Champions. W Gaming, coined by Jason Forsaken Susanto during the VCT Masters 2022 Reykjavik, became the essence of the Asia Pacific Champion team, Paper Rex. Over their short and incredible history, they become infamous for their chaotic and aggressive plays, creating memorable moments wherever they compete. But a team doesn't become world class just by holding the W key down. About our play style, a lot of people say that we just charge in mindlessly, you know, like anyone can do that. I think people fail to see sometimes how much work we put in to make sure that we can execute this perfectly, or at least perfectly on our terms. For us to play like this, the amount of hours that we put outside the game in terms of creativity, we put a lot of time into being open-minded and we put a lot of time into making sure that we have all the options, you know, and we can like filter down the best ones. I think that's a, a big part of our playstyle. W Gaming is meaningful for us because it means to move forward in the face of adversity. And adversity they did face. Strike la! Get blank cock up. My fault. Learning, learning lessons, learning points. Every loss you learn a video. Just how does a team like Paper Rex strive for perfection? It's all about the players. There are certain traits that we look for in every player. We try to make sure that like first they're very, very talented and they're also like inherently hardworking. Ilya, for example, when he finally joined the team, you could see that uh, he was a very dedicated individual. He's trying to be a little bit oh! Oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Something up in the air! Ilya Petrov, something. A relatively unknown duelist outside the Japan circuit was scouted by coach Alex. His debut on the VCT Pacific stage shocked the Valorant audience with his astounding mechanical skills and movement. But is a man simply born with talent? Oh, something with a triple. His drive for improvement goes beyond practicing during team hours. He goes for daily walks because he says that it helps his uh, mental state. He uses aim labs, Kovex, and um, you know he's part of the Yuki aim community. Static shooting, dynamic shooting. Yeah, he works on it like all day. And I think it's really showed in the tournament. They were prepared for that too, and he still gets out alive. Oh my god. Oh. No, don't worry, he's already dead. Nobody <laughs> gets the kill off of the point. <laughs> what is going on? Ilya something Petrov is the epitome this. of a perfectionist. There is no shortage of incredible jet memes, but in VCT, there are very few raised specialists in the world. Known as one of the greatest raised players of all time, Paper Rex Jing has dedicated almost all of his time to perfecting this one agent. As soon as you pick them up, you really could fly around the map. <laughs> I think I've never seen a player so positive, so um, not only just confident, but like he's super positive. He has zero bad things to say about anyone. By the way, the Jing's taking this space. He expects them to be lined there. Up. Almost lined up. One HP still surviving. He's gonna try for it. He's gonna try for it. It's cut on the corner. It's so damn close. It breaks it. Yeah, when the going gets tough, you know, it's, it's, it's actually thing that is mega positive, telling everyone that it's okay. You know, he's just gonna fly and kill someone. Lauda still in this one, TP close, it's Messi, but Jing, so Survivor, that's the ace! Nasty! Super hard to have, like super valuable. I've never, actually never seen any player that has zero negativity, and this is the first one, I think it's, it's, it's just amazing. Only the one to be found oh, for no. Forsaken, but Jing's here! Yeah. A double, the dismissed, oh my side. god! That's another foul! Wow. And Jing wow. closes out the game! <laughs> The core of the Paper X play style revolves around this one pro player. So there's a book by Malcolm Gladwell. To be good at anything, you need to have like 10,000 hours of like practice. In Jason's case, he's been playing games since he was six years old. Jason Susanto, Forsaken. 
finds two quick kills, finds himself a third, down for second, trying to challenge, finds a fourth kill. This artist left standing and forsaken in round three on map number two, now in round four here on Bind. He gets himself a second ace in the series. In essence, he's a veteran. You know, people see, oh, he's so young, he's 20 years, he's 20 years old, and he's that good, but man, the, the kid's been playing forever. Dirk will at least try and hold on. Look out! He just TP'd right behind! Enzo has fallen for the trick oh! once again, and no one is watching for Forsaken. As well, front line thrown out, he teleports. No way! No way he did that, that was just so good. Immediately pushes up through the pain shell, as well as Roomba, he's still with He's so young, his mechanical skill is incredible. And two, I think the difference between him and a lot of other people is he's very, very creative. And the number one most important player of Paper X. Like, um, the playstyle exists because of him. Again! And that stun hits three of them! Victor was the only one who wasn't hit, and he was a sitting duck anyway! Oh, another ult for sake is going crazy! Rolling Thunder was there, and Paper X cleaned him up! I can't explain it, to be honest. Like, this is just natural talent combined with, like, hard work and creativity. It's like the perfect mix to play Valorant. Yeah, Jogamo was actually just trying to set up a play! Four, four forsaken. Aaron Leonhardt, Mind Freak. I think Aaron, Aaron's, Aaron's route to being like really, really good also took a roundabout way. He didn't like Valorant at all, so he did the bare minimum. Then it came to Reykjavik. That game on split, Aaron had I think his worst game. Fuck me, man, Aaron! Zeta, right? Like, it was impossible to beat him at that time. Um, yeah, so everyone like, he teared up, you know, and everyone went to hug him. After that, he went on like some crazy like, character development up. This one might break still on heaven, he can do a lot here! Absolute balls of steel from Mind Break! Swing it wide, boost still gets hard! Not enough time! After practice, he went straight into ranked. Just practice, 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 mustard, extra. That's so cold. That is so cold from Mind Freak. As we... He really like popped off, you know, like really tore it up. In heaven, and that is a disaster. Uh, how, how has he got to death? But he's actually he's got a little bit further. He isolates the first by the horns, looking for the final player, and somehow Mind Freak brings this back. It looked like a done deal after a slip up from Paper X, but somehow this man wins it again. Just to show that, like, if you really, really, really put your heart into it, and you have enough talent, you know, put in a lot of effort to be where he is today. Kalish Rishaidi, Davai. Yeah, okay, so Lish, or Davai, Lish, he's the longest tenure to take breaks, please. Davai, though, still deadly! Just delivering damage! Three back to back! <laughs> Welcome to the show, the stage is already there. Paper X looking stunning on round one. He's always known like when to turn it up and when to actually work hard. Eventually able to drag that crosshair around, but Dubai finds a third. And he's gonna commit it, but this is not necessarily a win! Dubai absolutely crushes their hopes and dreams! I think he's, he's grown into one of our most consistent players and he had an absolutely fantastic 2023 season. Any other oh! Get the transfer! Divai! Finds three! But going into overtime. The flash connecting Divai with a 4K! 12 to 12, we continue onward. Once again, the possibility the that they don't know. Trying to find some space. He's dropped out onto Melser. Davies is going to have to get half. He's going to stick it. He's going to try to stick. No, he pulled off and Divai! Divai with three paper X with A in the Red Bull clutch! Heart of a king. You know, in Paper X, you know, the theme is always to have fun, to show that we're having fun on stage. And a lot of people say that we, we don't actually play to win, but that's absolutely not true, you know, like, it's the number one most important thing for us. I'm surprised people actually think we go all the way to second place and we, and we feel like we're just trying to have fun on stage, you know, like, no, we really want to win that event. It's like the most important thing, and both these second place losses, like, they really, really cut us to the bone, you know. As for me, I, I actually don't get a lot of sleep during like tournament periods because I'm trying my best to empty strat, you know. I have to watch every game multiple times. Like for example, if a game finishes at 6pm, 9pm, I'm preparing to watch it. Uh, I've recently figured out that it's better for me to watch it in the morning so I get some sleep beforehand and then I wake up really early to watch it. Um, gives me like a better perspective, so that's what I've been doing. But in general, during tournament periods, I, I don't sleep at all. <laughs> I hardly any sleep. I mean, it's all, all the time, like all day long, I think we're thinking about Valorant and uh, if we're not practicing, it's still the back of our heads, it's still the back of our minds. Finally reach an international event, you have to be ready that anything can happen.
because you have reached the stage where everyone is world class already. You know, like every single opponent has is champion or second best in their region. You know, and they've come in, and you're playing in a tournament that's like of high stakes. You know, so anything can happen. Close to the end of Tokyo, I think it had been about four to five months of non-stop practice. You know, we haven't been home for that long, and uh, none of us could actually like see our families or at least just relax. Paper Rex fans around the world were concerned about the main jet duelist, Something, being unable to attend Masters Tokyo. But the team had an incredible run, unexpectedly coming in at a third place finish with a sub, Patipan Posturi. Claw, CGRS. He's a pro in every game. So a lot of people thought we signed Kla as a streamer. That's actually not true. It was actually because like I wanted a player that I knew that he was a great teammate. This is a man with a lot of experience. Because of that, because of all this, right, he was able to go to Tokyo and defy expectations. Notice CGRS is there, good util. Clear him out, near sighted. Really needs to get a kill here. Maybe more! Why not? Absolutely flew in with it! He's on for the ace, and he's only gone and done it! This the round win, all of the back of this guy, a plucky up start, a content creator. Uh, we were especially happy for Kla in the event. I think he managed to prove the doctors wrong. Everyone was just saying like, oh, streamer, streamer sub, streamer sub, you know. But at what cost was this victory? You know, at that point in time, like, it, it started to get really mentally taxing. At a certain point, you know, like, um, we didn't even think losing was going to be so bad anymore. I think after the energy game, if you actually looked at our faces, you know, we were a bit more like, holy shit, we need to stay here for three more days. We had to overcome the insane exhaustion, I think, insane mental exhaustion. And uh, in spite of all that, I think, I think the fact remains is we still got third place. It was a Herculean effort on the boys' part, and I think it's, it's due to the fact that they put in an insane amount of hard work throughout the season, you know, like four or five months of work just for that third place result. And I think, it, I think the effort speaks for itself. They've achieved so much in their strive for perfection, landing the VCT Pacific Champion Trophy third at VCT Masters Tokyo, and runner-up at Valorant Champions Los Angeles. Yet, this is only the beginning of a new era of Paper Rex. No longer the underdogs, but now known as one of the best. When I'm walking onto on the stairs, I feel like overwhelmed. It's like I'm I'm gonna cry, you know. It's like oh, I'm here to let like, pay in the in the in front of the like, mini cloud and like yeah, everyone like trying to help each other like a lot. Like we just like only one heart in like combination. You know? It's like five people, but one hand. <laughs> Everyone in Paperless never give up. In true paper expression, you know, just um, be positive, be happy, go into the event, um, be confident, and um, have a good time. That's my hope for him. For all the boys, actually.